Serving as a member of a healthcare team is a collaborative adventure. The following movie is a simulated scenario that demonstrates seven healthcare career options offered at Montgomery College. Which healthcare career option is right for you? Hello. Good morning. This is Health Information Management Representative, Ms. Smith, calling from the healthcare team medical facility. May I speak to Ms. Rebecca Jones, please? Speaking. Ms. Jones, I'll only take a minute of your time. I simply need to confirm some policy information for you based on your accident of a few months ago. Oh, that was quite an ordeal. It all started on the morning of March 1st. Right, I thought that would be the case. Okay, yeah, no, I hear you, I hear you. I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna get all this done. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I just hit somebody, oh my god! Oh, are you okay? Hello, 911? 911? Okay, we're coming. What happened? Okay, be right back over. We're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna put a collar around your neck and we're gonna put you on our board. Rolling over onto the board. There we go. Okay, Rebecca, we're gonna, gonna feel us working on your leg a little here. We're gonna cut your pant leg open so we can see where you're hurt. I'm checking All right. your abdomen. Anything? Got some lacerations there. Right in through your abdomen, okay. Gonna feel a quick pinch over here. One, two, three, and stick. Your IV is already in. The needle's out. It's just a little plastic tube in your arm. All right, so we're gonna take you to the hospital and they're gonna take real good care of you. And you're gonna be seen by a lot of different people. So when we get to the hospital, don't be afraid. You're gonna be seen by a lot of different people right off the bat. The patient is rushed to the emergency room where the trauma team waits. Okay, doing good. There we go. All right, great. Hi, who's taking report? I am. Okay, great. Hi, this is Hi. Rebecca Jones, 45 year old female. All set. One, two, and three. <laughs> Pedestrian struck by an SUV. She has a tender, unstable left hip, which we have splinted. She also has a slightly distended abdomen, which is tender to palpation. Okay. We had her immobilized. Uh, vitals were 102 over 66 for a blood pressure, 116 for a heart rate, and her respirations have been in the upper 20s. We did not give her anything for pain because of the abdomen. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Ms. Jones? Hi. I'm Dr. Gorski. We're going to take good care of you. You're here in the emergency room, okay? I want to get her on two milligrams of Dilaudid, all right? And let's start her on uh, two liters of oxygen. Okay. Ms. Jones? I need to order some x-rays and I need to get uh, some ultrasound of your abdomen so that we can see the extent of your injuries, okay? Okay. Hi, I'm Deborah. I'm a registered nurse. I'm going to be taking care of you. Hey, and I'm Christy. I'm also a registered nurse. I'm going to be helping Deborah out, okay? I'm going to start an assessment. I'm going to listen to your heart. Can you tell me your name, please? Rebecca Jones. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened today? Uh, I was walking and I was hit by a car. And that's all I know. That's all I remember. Okay. Can you open your eyes for me, please? Yeah. Are you having pain? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have pain. Where's your pain located? Uh, here in my middle and, and my hip, my thigh hurts a lot. Okay, if you, uh, had to, if you had to rate your pain on a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain, 10 uh, being the worst, what would, what would it 10, be? 10, it hurts a lot. Okay, and what kind of, is it sharp, stabbing, uh, what kind of pain? How would you describe it? Uh, 
I feel like dull pain because like throbbing pain. A dull throbbing my, pain. My arms hurt though. This, they hurt a lot. Okay. Well, Christy's giving you some Dilata. That's a pain medication. You should be feeling better oh, in a few minutes, okay? Oh, I know you have I know you have some wounds here and oh, some scrapes on your hands. Uh -huh. I'm going to be as gentle as possible. Yeah. But can you please can you squeeze my hands for me, please? Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, and I already gave you your Dilata, so you should be feeling a lot better in a few minutes, okay? Okay, I can see the x-rays here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ms. Jones. My name is Magdemi. I'm here to take extra of your neck and your pelvis, okay? Okay. First, I have to check your wrist ID. Uh, would you tell me your date of birth? Um, 10, 20, 64. 10, 20, 64? Yeah. Okay, I don't want you to move. I'll just move things around you, okay? Just. Stay still. Okay, okay Miss Jones, I'm ready to take uh, the picture. Okay, don't move. Okay, go ahead and hold your breath for me. X ray. Okay, I'm gonna develop the picture and take it to the doctor. Okay, he'll let you know what the, the she will let you know what the next step is gonna be. Okay. The X-ray reveals no cervical spine injury. A sonographer scans the abdomen to determine if there is any abdominal trauma. Can you verify your date of birth for me, please? 10, 20, 64. Okay. Have you ever had any sonogram before? I have, yes. Okay. And have you had any uh, previous surgery, abdominal? I have not. Okay, no. good. During this exam, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in okay. and deep breath out. Anytime you couldn't hold it, breathe normally, okay? Okay. It's a warm gel. Is the OR here? Yes. Okay, can you call up to the OR and let them know that Mrs. Jones has a left femoral neck fracture and we need to get her up to the OR as soon as possible, please? We'll do. Yes. Thank you. Hi, this is Franco. I'm calling from the ER. The patient has a left femoral neck fracture. Dr. Gorski needs a room now. Uh, we can anticipate an ORIF uh, from the left femur. Okay, thank you. As information is entered into the hospital database, health information management begins to construct a medical billing chart. In the operating room, surgical technologists assist the surgeon throughout the surgery. Let's do a timeout, doctor. The patient is Rebecca Jones. She's having an ORIF of the left femur. Everyone agrees? Agree. Knife. Knife. Knife back. Got it. Knife step. Knife step. I mean, I'm an AV. You hold that for a sec. Can you hold that too, please? Right there. All right, nuts and bombs. Let me step back. Irrigation, please. Irrigation. Can I get a ridge? Just. Yep. Ridge. Thank you. Irrigation. Thank you. Irrigation back. We're going to need more of that. Interscola, can I get more irrigation in the field, please? This is saline. Expires September 2009. I'll take it, irrigation. Thank you. Welcome. Irrigation back. Mets first, please. Mets. Okay. All right, we're going to hold off. I think we got this. I think we got a bleeder. Let me have him step back him and step. hit me. Hold on. All right, Buzz. 
good. Stop. Okay. More irrigation. Irrigation. All right. Let's. That's good. Let's get X-ray. We get a shot in here. You get AP. X-ray coming in. Does everybody have a uh, lid on? Yes, we do. Okay. Shooting X-ray. Okay. Picture is on. That. Good. That looks good. Thank you. After a successful surgery, the patient will need to spend a few days in the hospital recuperating. As part of the recuperative process, various members of the healthcare team will again assist the patient. When the patient is ready, a new member of the healthcare team will join in this patient's care and recovery. A physical therapist assistant arrives to begin the rehabilitative process. Pain or discomfort? Um, no pain, just some discomfort. Okay. Now help me with this movement. Help. The rehabilitative process continues even after the patient is discharged from the hospital in an outpatient clinic. The first exercise is uh, we're going to move your left leg sideways mm -hmm. and come back to the midline ten times. Okay, so we can start now. One, two, our next exercise. We're gonna do some resistance to the same movement. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to just place your feet in here. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, same movement, 10 times. Okay. One, two, Time um, to get on the treadmill now okay. to further work and strengthen those weak muscles. Okay. Okay, you can step up. All right. Okay, step now on. you can step slowly, hold on to the bars. Uh -huh. This one hurts a little bit. What's that, Ms. Jones? This one hurts a little bit. Okay. How much do you rate the pain? From maybe a maybe about a five. About a five out of ten. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm feeling so much better. Well, thank you for providing some helpful information that will allow us to process the claims to your insurance company. I'm glad you're feeling better. And if you have any questions about this phone call, please contact me at 301-555-1. As evidenced by the scenarios you have just witnessed, healthcare is a team effort. The success of any patient's recovery is the combined effort of many trained professionals, all working as one unit to bring the patient back to good health. Along with doctors and surgeons, these noble professionals work hard to study, hone their skills, and acquire the license to practice their skills. In your neighborhood, there is one community college that can offer you all the accredited programs to select from to get the college degree and the credentials to practice these skills. Montgomery College. What part of the team do you want to join? At Montgomery College, you can receive training and a college degree in the rewarding careers of fire and emergency services management, health information management, nursing, surgical technology, diagnostic medical sonography, radiologic technology, or physical therapy assistant. For more information, check the Montgomery College website at www.montgomerycollege.edu and click on the department webpage link.